Hey, Lisa. Do you know where we are? It's your second home. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I thought I was good until like I just said that. Um, this place is gonna miss you a lot, but um, this building isn't just what's gonna miss you. This is what's gonna miss you. And then I'm gonna pull it together and talk to you. So here, say hi to some of your friends. I love you. Senior. Yes, ma'am. Say hi to Alisa. Say hi to Alisa. Oh, hi! <laughs> I love you! A couple things I know about you. Um, one, you are super, super kind, and I have watched you over the years learn to stand up for yourself because the first I don't know, however long. I called you Elise, not Elisa. For like, I remember in Dawning Light, you were like, it's Elisa. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how long have I been calling you Elise? Yep, a really long time. So I'm sorry for that still. But I thank you so much for um, correcting me and, and giving me grace when it took a while. So I've watched you grow strength in that way. I've watched you grow strength in um, also becoming who you are as a dancer and performing, um, which has been pretty cool. Look, I'm hanging out by you right now. Um, I love that picture of you. I also have watched you turn into sassy pants right in front of my eyes, and I was and like kind of become like the sassy, gorgeous woman in front of my eyes. So thank you for that. I also totally treasure a conversation that you and I had um, when we were building this studio, um, and your mom and. Um, your brother came down for a little bit and you and I were working on a project and you and I chatted and I remember you talking to me for what I felt like was like, like you, we always have little conversations but I felt like that day was like a big step in knowing you because um, I, I, you just told me a little bit, I think it was about Sam actually, um, that he was kind of coming into focus and you like opened up and you bright, your face got bright and you just started talking about him. And then I feel like that kind of, started our relationship of being closer. I want to thank you so much for being a leader, for always being someone that I can ask um, to step into a role. And um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of who you are. I'm so proud that you know that you know who you are, that you know who Jesus is, and that I know that wherever God takes you and whatever journey he takes you on, that you are going to take that with you. And you're going to take all the cool stuff that you've learned here about um, getting to the front. Um, Darn it, girlfriend. Okay, these are the things I want you to take with you, okay? I want you to take getting to the front. I want you to take maybe stepping back a little bit and learning a, learning something, um, get really good at it, and then make yourself get to the front. Fight for the front and do your freaking best when you get up there. Show your sass. Don't forget to show who you are. Now I'm ugly crying. Now it's ugly. It's not even cute anymore. It's just straight up ugly. Um, Care for those, like we learned we learned in El Salvador. Always care for those that need care. Maybe they don't, maybe it's not because they have less than we do, because we've learned in El Salvador that even though maybe they didn't have the same stuff that we had, they have more. They have more heart, they have more family, they have more freedom in who they are. Um, those are the important things. So um, care for those and then also lean into the important things. It's not about what you have and what you don't have, it's about what you hold in here and don't hold in here, right? Um, take that with you. Um, work smart. Oh, here's that one. Dreams don't work unless you do. So create your dream and go for it, work for it. And um, tardiness is selfishness, <laughs> take that one too. I don't ever have to worry about you with that one. Um, but anyway, I love you. That just shows you that I love you and that you are a big part of who I am and you'll always be a big part of you, who I am. And you always, always have a safe place to always come with me. You'll never surprise me with anything and I'll always be able to walk you through and help you through and give you wisdom, hopefully, <laughs> as God's granted to me. But I will hold your hand or um, push you forward. Um, I love you so much and don't you dare become a stranger because I know where your parents live and I will hunt you down. <laughs> All right, I love you so much.